Okay, so this is going to be just a quickie here. <clears throat> I have this thing I'm making out of plywood, and I want to ask, uh, elevate this uh, section so that it forms a pocket. Right? And I have all these plywood curves here. And what I want to do is have this piece of plywood wrap around that curve. So I'm going to show you how to um, cut this plywood so that it bends, and how to measure that properly as well. So, um, first of all, you have to make sure you have the right amount, right? I, I actually uh, am pretty flexible on my measurements here, but there's essentially a flat section along the side here, and then a curve, and then a flat section in the middle, right? So between those two flat sections is the cut I'm going to cut, uh, is the portion I'm going to cut to bend the plywood, right? But uh, I can measure these sections, I can measure the center section, and then I can measure the curve. I can do that approximately a bunch of different ways, or I could do it exactly if I wanted. If you're really just sort of wondering whether you have enough plywood, you can also just set the plywood out and say, oh, I want it to come to about there, and literally just wrap it around and say, do I have a long enough piece? And look, there I do, right? I have a long enough piece. Um, what I like to do, since I have more than enough here so I can cut the ends off afterwards, is I'm really just going to position this, and I want to mark the center. And I already have center marked on uh, on my board down here, my, the bottom. I'm just going to eyeball the center on this thing. And I can say, well, where does it start to curve? Here and here. And uh, where does it stop curving? Okay, is the, is the next question. And I can just measure that, right? So uh, you can use a fancy tape measure. You can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to get close enough, right? So this is about... I don't know, four and three quarters inches. I'm going to call it five inches. And I'm just going to mark off five inches on either side here. Right? So this section from this mark all the way down to there, and this mark all the way down to there are going to be the parts that bend. So as you do your test cuts, you've got a couple decisions to make. One is how far apart things are. You can see this sample, the curves are pretty close together, and here they're a little further apart, right? Um, that is related to how tight of a radius you want to get, because eventually things will run into each other, right? So, so if you need to do a real tight radius, you have to cut your curves very close together. Um, the other question you have is, is how much through the plywood you want to cut. This is where a birch, uh, a Baltic birch plywood goes a long way. This is just one veneer is left here, and this is very flexible. It's pretty flimsy. Whereas with um, with uh, this, for example, um, almost two whole veneers are left, and this is pretty stiff by contrast. Um, so I'm just going to mark where the blade is on my saw. And I like to bring that line pretty far out, right? All the way out here. And now, you know, depending on how, how far out I want my curves, I can make a second mark, okay? And in this case, I know I want them to be about the width of a, 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 of a blade. So um, I've already tested that. And I'm just going to put that second mark there. So um, I could do that through testing. Uh, but when you start to line something like this up, you can start to see that, that, that those two marks make a lot of sense here, right? marks facing me. I'll start on the blade mark here. bend right there, right? And I really can't emphasize enough that, that setup and uh, test cuts are critical here. You know, my, my... You really, really have to take it slow with your test cuts and your planning 
for these intervals and for how deep you want to go. If you don't, you're going to wind up breaking these things, they're going to fall apart, or they're not going to bend the amount you want them to bend, and you'll end up going over and over and over again trying to get it right, okay? So invest that time in setup, invest that time in uh, test cuts, uh, so that then when you get ready to, to do this mark on your table saw and bang out your cuts, you're ready to go. That's it. I hope that helps.